Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Hope you're having a great day. And today we're talking about a voice amplifier. This is sent to me by a company called Hayaworks. Had the opportunity to put it to the test over the past week or so and look forward to demonstrating it to you, showing you some highlights about the product. So if you're thinking about a voice amplifier, then maybe this one might be for you. These are great if you're speaking to an audience inside or outside, you're doing a tour, you might be doing an infomercial, infomercial like the ShamWow infomercial. You, again, there's a number of different ways that you can use it and it's really cool. You can record with it as well. So we'll dive in and talk more about it. I'll be sure to put a link in the description as well as in the comments section below. So you can check it out if it makes sense, you can order it. Currently selling for around $70. So it's affordable and with the discounts, they make it extremely affordable. Let's talk about what's included. So you get obviously the voice amplifier. You also have the strap so you can wear it over your shoulder like this, or you can put it over your head and then wear it across your body. So which makes it nice. So as you're walking with people, you don't have to worry about holding it. It just sits on your body. You also have the headset with the 3.5 connector. The next thing it comes with is an auxiliary cable. So you connect and just use that as a, as a speaker uh, if you want to use another device. And then you have the type C cable and also the brick for charging. You have the user manual and the thing with the user manual, which is good is it is easy reading. And then you also have the box, lots of good information there. Now, as far as specs, this is a 20 watt speaker, so it's not going to knock your socks off as far as loudness, but it's a pretty decent speaker because I did testing outside and I look forward to showing that to you where I went outside and stepped away so you can really get a feel there. Uh, it's supposed to cover up to 20,000 square feet. It's less than a pound, very lightweight. Uh, it's Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, it supports the uh, USB, which uh, USB drive. So then you could record your audio of what you're speaking as well. And also with music too, which is very cool. It uh, has the auxiliary connector, uh, which uh, is uh, right there on the side. And that's where you do your headset, also your USB drive. And as far as usage, 12 to 15 hours, depending upon what you're, how you're using it, and it does take about two hours to fully charge. All right, now let's uh, talk about the quality. It feels like a quality product, mostly plastic. Uh, all the buttons uh, are, uh, you know, plastic as well. Feels good. The knobs plastic. It does have rubberized feet there on the bottom, so if you are laying it down, it's not going to slip and it's not going to scratch a surface as well. The uh, headset. Uh, what's nice about the headset is it's comfortable to wear. It's lightweight as well. It fits over your head like this because the, of the shape of it. It's going to fit with the boom mic over your left ear. And then this again plugs into the headset, the microphone right there on the side. Now, as far as the functions, you do have your power and your volume. So when you turn that on, you can you adjust that and then you raise the volume. You have your mode button there. You have your seek rewind. Uh, you have your play pause and then seek forward and then record. So those are the functions and of course your speaker and your display. So as you can see here, you could, it tells you the battery life, what mode you're in and when you're recording how the time is. Now I'm going to go ahead and raise the volume and now you hear my voice. So I'm going to make it, this is, this is currently as loud as it will go. So it may not sound like it's loud, but it is loud when it's having the direction to you, you know, towards somebody, it will really pick it up. Behind it, it doesn't sound as loud. When it's facing that to people, it's, it seems really powerful. Now, just be careful as well with the microphone, uh, especially on the higher volume, you don't want to put in front of the speaker, you're going to get that feedback. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, show you, uh, first of all, if you want to connect it to your phone and Bluetooth, what you're going to do is put into the mode for, and you'll see Bluetooth, it's going to, then you go to your phone, you put into pairing mode, you look for the uh, S398, you click it and you're set and now you're good to go. 
Yeah, now it's active, and you'll hear a beep once it's active. And it also uh, just, it doesn't tell you the battery life, but it does uh, tell you that it's connected with the audio. Again, you could see the battery indicator if uh, you need to know how much battery life is left. Now, it does have, uh, you can control from your phone. So if you find some music you want to play, let me go ahead and pick up something here. So this is me speaking and music at the same time, which is very cool. Or you could just have it playing music. And then if I want to play pause, I could stop that. Now, if I'm pressing pause, it's going to stop the audio from your microphone. If I press pause, play again, it's going to start speaking. So it works with your Bluetooth device. Then you can go seek backwards. You can seek forward. So you can uh, control that there. All right. Now, if you want to go into the next mode, uh, and that would be you press the M. And now you could just be for voice only. Now, once you plug in the USB, it's gonna say USB. Now, this is where you could start recording speaking. So the way it works is you would press the R button once. And it's now recording my voice. So we're gonna play that back in one second as you can, uh, what it will have on the display is the time. So you can see, now once you're done recording, you press the R button again, it stops. Now to play it back, you're gonna press and hold the R button. And what it's going to do, it, if you have multiple audios, it's gonna uh, leave off with the last one left where it automatically starts speaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the R button down for two or three seconds and it's gonna start replaying back what I just recorded. And it's now recording my voice. So we're gonna play that back in one second as you can, uh, what it will have on the display is the time. So you can see, now once you're done recording, you press. Now you can pause that and then continue and now, again, you can hear how it recorded. So it's very cool. Now, if you put it into Bluetooth mode, I'm gonna go ahead and change the mode to Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect it back. All right, so we're now connected. So it, sh it shouldn't lose it, but once you get out of the mode, it may need to reconnect back to your Bluetooth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press play. And now, if you want to record the music with your audio of you speaking, you could do that. So I'm going to press the R button again. And now it's recording the music with my voice. So here you go, testing one, two. So again, if you want to save this, you're doing some kind of recording of some kind. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it, and now I'm going to press the R button, the long button, and I'm gonna hold it down, and it should start replaying back. And actually, now it, now it should. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and press. And now it's recording. There you Music go. With my voice. So here you go, testing one, two. So again, if you wanna save this, doing some kind of recording of some kind. Now I'm going to go ahead and... So there you go. So it uh, works generally very smoothly. Again, you just have to remember if you go into Bluetooth mode, then uh, it might take a second for it to reconnect. Now, I want to go ahead and play an audio sample of me outside. I was using my GoPro camera, my GoPro Hero 9. I didn't have a microphone connected. So uh, that will give you an idea how much it picks up, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, I'm outside, beautiful day here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm gonna do a test, distance test, so you can hear how well it picks up my voice, as well as the music for the speaker. And you were going to speak to an audience outside, so I'm gonna go all the way back as far as I can to the bushes. And I am doing a test. Testing one, two, three. 
Testing, one, two, three. Beautiful day here. Final day of the Masters. Now I'm going to start walking back. And again, this will give you a perspective of how loud the speaker can be with both the voice as well as the music here in a beautiful day in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, so there you go. Uh, you know, I have to say it's a really good value for the money, especially the promotion they have right now. I don't know if that's going to change. So if you are looking for a voice amplifier that uh, has decent volume, has nice features, you can record. Uh, this is definitely a, a two thumbs up. Uh, it's a really, really good value for the money. And, um, you know, uh, you know, I'm pleased with it. It's, uh, it's fun to use. If you're going to have a party as well, this would be something to have. And hopefully this video will be of help to you if you are thinking about a voice amplifier and this one in particular. If you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate you joining me today. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.